Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to calculate the average or mean and it's very simple and easy right? Average or the mean is found by adding all the numbers that are given divided by how many numbers there are right? So I'll just repeat that. It's found by adding all the numbers divided by how many numbers there are given in the set right? We'll do some examples to understand better. So say for example, find the average of the following numbers, right? So number 3, number 5 and number 7, right? If we had to find the average or the mean of these three numbers, how do we do it? So we add, as per the formula, we add the numbers. So 3 plus 5 plus 7. Now if you add these three numbers, the total you get is 15. Now the formula also says you need to divide it by how many numbers there are. So there are 1, 2 and 3 numbers given all together right in the set. So you do 15 divided by 3 and that comes to 5. So the average of 3, 5 and 7 is 5. Now let's do another example. So find the average of the following numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So as per the average formula, we'll first add all these numbers. So that's 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 right now if you're counting how many numbers there are there are five numbers right so once you add these the answer you get is 30 and there are five numbers so we'll divide by five right 30 is the total if you add them and you divide by five because there are five numbers in total and the average of these five numbers is six Another example, find the average of the following numbers. You have 10, 10 and 13, right? Now it doesn't matter if a particular number is repeated, right? So we'll still follow the formula. We'll do 10 plus 10 plus 13, right? Even though 10 is repeated, that is fine, right? We add all the numbers that are given in the set. So if you add these three numbers, you get 33. And if you count how many numbers there are, that's one that's 2 and that's 3 right so you need to divide by 3 even though number 10 is repeated it is still counted as a separate number so the answer or the average of these three numbers is equal to 11 another example find the average of the following numbers now with average it doesn't matter how the numbers are set out right from smallest to largest or largest to smallest or it's all jumbled up it doesn't matter right so you have 5 3 4 2 or you can also say 5 4 3 2 right so we'll firstly add these numbers so 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 and the answer you get is 14 and we count how many numbers there are in this set there are four right so we do 14 divided by 4 as you can see there is four numbers so 14 divided by 4 the answer you get is 3.5 right that is the average of these four numbers Sometimes you can also get a question which says you need to find the average of numbers that involve negative numbers, right? In this example, you have minus 2, 4, minus 6 and 8. It doesn't matter. The formula remains the same. You try and add all the numbers and if you're adding a negative number, it pretty much means you're subtracting. So this is how you'll write it out. Minus 2 plus 4 minus 6 plus 8. And the answer you get is 4 and how many numbers there are so you have 1 2 3 4 numbers in the set so you'll do 4 divided by 4 which is equal to 1 right that's the average of these four numbers 
Now this is a word problem example. Tom is 7 years old, Peter is 8 years old and Anna is 6 years old. What is their average or mean age? That means we'll add the three um, ages of Tom, Peter and Anna, right? So 7 plus 8 plus 6 which will give you 21 and if you count how many numbers are there in this set so there is 7 which is 1 that's 8 that's another number so 2 and 6 that's another number which is 3 so in total this set of numbers 7 8 and 6 make a total of 3 numbers so you do 21 divided by 3 and the answer you get is 7 years right 7 years is the average age between Tom, Peter and Anna. Now the same concept and the same formula applies in all types of average or mean questions, right? If a question is asking for average or mean, remember you can use this formula. All you need to do is add all the numbers or figures uh, that are provided in the question and you divide it by how many numbers there are, right? Or how many figures they are given. Uh, it can be word problems or simple uh, problems that we did earlier. And that is it. If you did like the video, please share and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.